Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I am doing a very simple tutorial for you guys, how to make renders and Photoshop or PNG images with no background. So here we just have a basic CSGO wallpaper. So you want to grab your pen tool and find something that doesn't have like, um, let me find a picture real quick. So right here, you see how there's this orange going off on the guy. So if you rendered this out, it would probably look kind of weird. But if you are going for that effect, it's still fine, but I'm saying it's better to have kind of someone without any other distortions on it besides for the screenshot. So, for what you first want to do is find your pen tool. So, the pen tool is right here. Just grab it, and you basically want to zoom in and just click on the parts and just kind of outline his body. So, I'll speed this up, and I'll be tell you when I'm done. Right here, I, as you saw, I just messed up, and basically all I did was hit Control, Alt, and Z to go back a little bit. So, that's just an FYI. Sometimes I recommend zooming out for places like this to see if either it's part of the wall or if it's part of his body. So, sometimes you have to hit Alt and then zoom in or zoom out, just in case of these little locations. Oops, they try to kick me, but I won't budge. Usually when you do renders and banners and stuff like that, you usually cut out their feet. So sometimes, like, if you're doing a banner, you won't have their feet showing, so the feet are not really a huge thing to worry about. So. But there's nowhere left to hide long. A masquerade. So when the end, you want to make sure it's highlighted at the very top. So like this, there's a little dot right here. So that's how you do it. And then once you have outlined his entire body with the pen tool, you want to right click and click make selection. Now you just want to hit OK, don't mess with any of these settings. And then you want to make sure you have a layer background, then hit Control X and then Control V. Then you can delete this. And then what I usually like to do is make this, the background layer, into a green or a red or something that's not on the color. And then do the fill, and then do foreground color so it's red. So you can kind of see like what parts need to be marked out, but as it seems here, I did a pretty good job on the first try. Now obviously there are other ways to do this, but this is the way that I do it. So yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like. And I want to thank SinFX for the intro for Team Neon, I'll play that right now. So yeah, that's just a basic tutorial on how to do it, and yeah, if you want more of an advanced tutorial where we do feathering and all of these things, comment that down below and comment down what tutorial you guys want to see next. So we'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.